the Leo and Danny show. Here's what he's saying, Dex, because Leo was legitimately me too he was on The Bachelorette, the massive TV really? show. You wait till you hear why I got me too. It's really cool. He got canceled for when he was in college yeah. commenting on a girl's Instagram photo. You need my big dick. Yeah, I said that. I didn't know it was permanent. You know what I mean? I didn't even know Instagram was going to be around What's forever. What's wrong with that? Nothing wrong Thank with that. Thank you, Dex. She had a, Appreciate that. a canal for a vagina. And the only yeah. way she could have felt anything was with a big dick. She exactly. did need it. Exactly. She needed it. But the thing was is, it Panama? It was, it, it was the size of the Panama Canal. At least, at least. <laughs> Absolutely. She got Noriega. <laughs> what is that? I don't even get it. I don't know much about the Panama Canal. Hey, General Noriega. He yeah, used to be yeah. the president of Panama. I yeah, love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Obscure history references are appreciated on this channel. <laughs> but Dex, every time since then that he's gotten sucked off by a random girl in a parking lot, and who can even count how many times that's happened? Every time after he comes, he can't just be like, all right, peace bitch i got right. things to go do like okay. he has to pretend he likes her to avoid getting canceled again okay. yeah for as long as i possibly can it's it's not an easy job but now i have a girlfriend so i've been you know yeah, I can so barry shoot. white maybe but barry white is dude is that man is the fuck plus. man barry harvey white. weinstein right has right a right game right right jesus <laughs> christ <laughs> harvey weinstein harvey Weinberger? <laughs> he did not have any that is that he's been a lot of sex after. now Oh, yeah, I know in jail. Dude. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I told you this, but my girlfriend and her cousin who fucks all the NFL players, mm -hmm. they are so conservative, basically, that they think most of the Harvey Weinstein victims are whiny bitches wow. and that he's innocent. I'm ha I'm so, I was so proud of my girlfriend when she even thought that the Harvey Weinstein Me Too's were bullshit. Wow. Yeah, really? those were gnarly, dude. Some of them for sure. You, you guys think Bill did that shit, Bill Cosby? Fuck no, dude. Bill, I mean, I think every single girl they said they took the pills willingly, you know? That's I mean, not what they said at all. No? <laughs> Wasn't it like That's what I heard. <laughs> <laughs> no. I heard that every account was identical. He no, dropped so them. No, weird, that they guys. like, they, he would ask them if they wanted one. No, then, no, no. Let me, I read the article really recently and I'm sure Dex knows how this went too. It was identical. It was pretty much one case that repeated 40 times. He would find a girl who was young and pretty, ask her if she wanted to get into show business, say, hey, we should... All right, can you do the voice for me? I can't do it. Can Which Bill, one? Bill, Bill Cosby? Cosby. That's tough. <laughs> let me, let me, Just invite a girl. Let me do a deep dive right here. Yeah, that's not an easy uh, one. Well, I'm going to tell you people right now. Yeah, that's kind of how it is, yeah. <laughs> it also sounds a little Bill Clinton-y. Yeah, you! Yeah, there it is. There it is. That's, yeah. Need to come to my room. <laughs> there it is. There it is, yeah. <laughs> See me in the morning. It's like the Eddie Murphy version of, yeah, he does it like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, that's the only one I can draw yeah, that, from. Yeah, exactly. Movie. Eddie Murphy. I'm going to butcher it right now, but I'm just going to try it because it's way funnier. <laughs> Listen to me, pretty thing. <laughs> you and I need to go to the Olive Garden to talk about your career. I got a couch right here. He would to get talk him on to you. He would get him to Olive Garden or to the couch in a hotel. He would say, "Would you care for a cocktail or maybe an <laughs> apple juice?" And then, without fail. When he was giving them the apple juice or the cocktail, he'd do a little sleight of hand thing where he put in something fizzy. Yeah. Then the girls Ooh. would black in an hour or two later and they would have their pants around their ankles. Their pussy would be a little sore and Bill Cosby would be over in the corner smoking a cigar. That's pretty. That's really fucked up. I heard that it was. I don't know where. Maybe it was a def, an article that you know that he had paid a publicist to post somewhere. But I had heard that they all willingly took the pills. Like they were like, "Yeah, we're gonna get fucked up together" or something. And then he would take a pill. Well, from what I read, granted it was Wikipedia. That mm. wasn't the case, even a little mm. bit. Mm. Well, yeah, that's yeah. Bill. I mean, look, Bill Cosby. It's pretty fucked up. I, it's funny that like uh, another black comedian, Hannibal Burris, that he started the whole movement to like get get him basically in jail because you no know, people had forgotten that he had been accused multiple times of rape and then well it didn't help that everybody fucking hated the guy um because he was rich and well wasn't that he was one thing you can't do is act holier than thou and right 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 down on people and say you're not doing this right right and, you know he talked about um black people as a whole and what we what we're not doing correctly uh, we're not being fathers to our children right and blah 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 the wanda sykes thing is a big incident i remember where wanda sykes was interviewing him some award show and wanda sykes just talks a little bit more like you would expect an african-american woman to talk mm -hmm. and he said you should speak in proper english to me 
like put her on the spot Super at an blast. award show. Yeah. Damn. So he was so he had done that he's and so he jerk. people he's were hating jerk. him. So and and he, yeah, easy. clearly if anybody would drug women and rape them that's pretty, yeah, he's a jerk for sure. Yeah. And so now let's not jump to conclusions. <laughs> Yeah. But he um, all I know is this: Bill Cosby is in prison. Harvey Weinstein is in prison. Mm -hmm. Kevin Spacey needs to be in prison. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's just certain people who will never see a day in jail. Uh, the guy who's just president is a mass murderer. Mm. Yeah, all presidents, pretty it. much, man. And Trump's a mass murderer. Yeah, man. He had look. He could have saved half a million people by just doing a few things. How many people do you need to kill to be a mass murderer, though? What's the definition of that? Two, shit. Well, in that case, Barack Obama drone bombed the shit out of a couple pregnant I women and not, children I in villages. I would dispute that. Any president yeah. that would send, you know, for whatever reason, we're killing people at, in these other countries. Right. We're setting examples. It's not about war because they're right. not fighting us back. No, right. So when you send drone, whatever their their supposed countrymen did, or their, I guarantee you they didn't send a missile to the fucking president's house who said to go fire uh, or go shoot at somebody. They need to kill the leaders. Don't kill the fucking indigenous. I agree. You know, that's who suffers in these wars anyway. The people who they send to fight and the people back home who have to sit there and worry about their fucking kid if they're ever going to come back. Yeah, home. so true, man. So yeah. that's, that's, that's where I am when it comes to that kind of shit.